one of the biggest things that us as humans would like to know is where do we come from? I've been at WITS about seven years now and originally I was very interested to come here to be involved with using uh, high resolution scanning and computers in something we would call computer assisted paleontology. Out of a million individuals, the chance of one becoming fossilized is about one out of a million. And the chance of that one fossilized specimen being discovered is also one out of a million. And this is one thing that South Africa is very well known for and can contribute to the world scientifically are all these wonderful fossils that can be found out in the cradle of humankind, uh, in the Karoo where it's hundreds of millions rather than a couple million years old. So these fossils are irreplaceable things. If you want to test a material, and in some cases you require non-destructive techniques, and in, in particular, for example, in this particular case we have uh, fossils. Now fossils, they're very precious and they're very few. The micro CT scanner, it, it operates on using x-rays and, and uh, principles much like you would see in, in a hospital. We can image things down to three microns, four microns, and that's 0 0.003 or 0 0.004 millimeters. So we can recover structural information from the tiniest of objects, uh, whereas in a medical scanner usually you're limited to about one millimeter or maybe if you're lucky 0.5 millimeters. The researchers go out to the field, they look for fossils, and when they find something, for example, something that looks like this here, this is a, um, looks like a rock, but it's a barrow, and inside here, um, they are actually noticed from one of the ends here, they noticed um, something protruding here, and they could tell that this looked like a cranium of a possible specimen. Now, um, one would have uh, just gone and taken a hammer and tried to, to, to break it up, but then you'd also break the fossil, but instead, um, if you scan this using x-rays, you get a 3D image. You can remove whatever is around on the computer and you'll be left only with a 3D image of your fossil and you can study the structure. You can even look inside the bone and determine quite a lot of things about the bones. When, when this barrow here was scanned, the, the specimen of the Brumistega, which is inside this rock, is the only complete skeleton of, of such a specimen that is available in the world. So once the, the scan was performed and we had the 3D images, we used the, the 3D printer that we have over here. This is the printout of what's inside the barrow. As you can see, you have the two fossils sitting inside the barrow here, and this, this here would just be the, the barrow. This is in a very special situation with the fossil um, repository that exists and having technology such as the micro CT scanner that we have. One of the, one of the current projects that I'm involved with is using this, the, the VIT scanner to look inside bones, structures called trabecular uh, struts. This, this is a human, uh, a gorilla, sediba, a chimp, and a baboon. And over here you can sort of see some of these thin, thin struts of bone inside. So we're quantifying the structure of these to try to figure out how this heel was used during movements. And this is really important because then we can study how our ancestors gradually adopted our form of locomotion. It helps us understand the past and um, it also helps us understand who we are. And so this, this research is really, really important.